Welcome to video number three. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about how to add media to your projects and how to invite other members to your project so that they can both upload video to a specific project or uh, actually edit on a specific project. So we're going to start by adding media files and we're going to go ahead and add the video that you just recorded uh, about all of your brainstorming ideas that should be on your desktop. On the home page you're going to notice uh, a few areas. There's uh, basically we have the Wii Video Lesson Project selected and that has all of the kind of assets associated with that particular project. And you're going to notice that there's nothing under Project Media Files. And if I click on Share Media Files, it brings up a list of files that I have already uploaded, but this is not where you can actually upload your videos. So before you can add videos to your project, you need to go to your Media Files tab and click Import Media Files. There's also an Import Media Files button right up at the top. Uh, that you have available to you at any point in time. So we're actually going to go ahead and click on the Wii uh, video lesson and we'll click right here, import media files. And from there I can uh, just click browse to go to my desktop and there's my Wii video brainstorm. 16.9 megabytes. We hit open and upload. And depending on your internet connection, um, this can take anywhere from a few minutes. Uh, it could take, uh, you know, 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of your video as well. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and wait for this to upload. All right, and once your video has uploaded to 100%, it then has to go through a storing process. And once that's done, boom, there it is. We now have in our Wii video lesson, we have our Wii video brainstorming video that we just recorded a little while ago. So once that's done, uh, this will show up in two places. We can either access this video within the actual editing interface, which I'll show you in a minute, or before we even go into the editing interface, we can just go back to our projects tab. And now when we click share media files, we can navigate to our Wii video lesson and hit OK. And it'll just kind of pre-populate videos that will, sh uh, that will show up in the editing interface. So now if we click Create New Video, this will load up the editing interface. And you'll notice up here we've got private files. So this is, uh, private files are files that you have uploaded under your user account. These are files that nobody can, else can see unless you've shared them to a particular project. Uh, but So I can access all of my media, right? Uh, so I've got four videos that I've uploaded prior, but I can also just go into my Wii Video lesson and see what's in there. I can also click on the Project Files tab and it will show you all of the shared media files that others have uploaded. Uh, since I am the only one that's uploaded any video, I can click on me and it shows you the We Video brainstorming video that I just put in there. As other collaborators upload their videos, uh, their folders will populate underneath here and you can draw from their videos as well. All right, so we're going to actually go back to the dashboard to uh, now talk about how to get others to upload video to your project as well. So click on dashboard. And now we're going to go down here to the project members. Currently, it's just me. You can see my little screenshot right there. Um, and I am going to go ahead and click on the plus invite button. So when I click on that, it allows me to type in uh, other Wii video users if I know who those uh, usernames might happen to be. But I can also, if I don't, if nobody's uh, actually signed up for Wii video and I just want to email a link to this project to uh, invite collaborators, I can just click right here, copy to clipboard. And then I can go paste that into an email and send it to all of the people that I want to be able to upload video to this particular project and have the ability to edit on this particular project. And so sharing your project is as simple as that.
Check out video number four where we will see what it actually looks like to have collaborators associated with your video project. We'll take a look at the basic editing interface and basic editing features in WeVideo and we'll talk about how to export your videos to your social media network of your choice.